Good morning. Today we will talk about heavy periods during the adolescent age group. And what I mean by adolescent age group is anywhere between 8 to 19 years of age. When we talk about menarche or the first period, it's a medical term used for the first period which happens in a girl. And uh, menarche can be anywhere between the age of 8 to 13 years nowadays. Um, the first year following menarche, the periods may not be very regular. Uh, they tend to be irregular because of immaturity of the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian uterine axis or what we you know can simply call the hormonal axis between the brain and the body. Because of the immaturity the cycles mostly are anovulatory and what I mean by anovulatory is the ovary is not producing the egg and hence the period gets delayed and when it does happen it tends to be a heavy one. Um, why are we so concerned about hemimenstrual bleeding and when do we call it so? Um, I would say heavy, heaviness is very subjective but I would request the mothers to be a little aware of what her daughter is experiencing as to how many pads she is changing, whether she has to wake up in the middle of the night to change her pad, uh, whether she's passing clots which are more than an inch in diameter um, and whether she's staining her clothes. Also extreme fatigue and feeling um, tired, not being able to go to school and not being able to concentrate can be signs of anemia due to the heavy bleeding. And why are we so worried about menstrual bleeding during this age is because of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, unfortunate uh, disturbances in their lifestyle and, uh, you know, absent school days and the emotional and, uh, you know, the burden that they experience, the emotional burden that they experience during this time. Most of the times the, the bleeding is anovulatory as I told you, but also uh, we need to rule out hypothyroidism and also bleeding disorders at this age. And what I mean by bleeding disorders are changes in the bleeding, um, um, the, 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 uh, changes in the uh, platelet system or the coagulation system of the body. Uh, many a times bleeding disorders may not show up until she has had a very heavy first period. But there are certain other signs to look out for, like easy bruisability and bleeding after even small injuries, etc. And if there are bleeding disorders, this needs to be managed quite extensively and um, you know aggressively by a hematologist. If it's hypothyroidism, it just needs a, a replacement of the thyroid hormone. Many a times, heavy menstrual bleeding can be can be treated with simple medications to be taken by mouth. Uh, however, a gynecologist review would be uh, imperative if the bleeding, you know, heavy bleeding is persisting. Um, I think I will talk about early and late menarche in my uh, next talk in the series. Thank you.